Hello friends, Bill back again. This week's vlog is all about content, more specifically, user-generated content. We've talked about content and content marketing in the past, but user-generated content is different because it's not coming from us, uh, although it could be um, stimulated by some of the activity that we do. Uh, we can request user-generated content by way of comments on our blog post. We can request user-generated content uh, throughout our website. Uh, we get a lot of user-generated content uh, in our social media activity by way of engagement. But uh, one of the simplest ways to get user-generated content, in my opinion, is one of the most overlooked. Uh, and that's the user-generated content we get by way of reviews, specifically on our Google Business Profile, our Facebook, Yelp, uh, Health Grades, or any of those uh, third-party review platforms. So first things first. It's not easy to create an initiative for a small business owner to procure user-generated content. It's not easy to create a blog post that gets engagement. It's not easy to create an app that people will upload video or audio or pictures or text. Getting the user or your audience actively participating uh, by way of comments or feedback isn't easy. Any small business owner will tell you that. Any doctor will tell you that. Any restaurateur or professional will tell you that. It's difficult to get people to engage. So what do we do? Well, in my opinion, the easiest way to procure user-generated content on a, on a consistent and significant basis is through your Google business profile. Because if you're engaged in actively seeking feedback from your patients or your clients or your customers, they're most likely to give you that feedback on a third party platform that they feel is reputable and credible. And it's my opinion, but I think most would agree, the most uh, credible and reputable platform for third party um, engagement and content and feedback is Google, the Google business profile specifically. So, your Google business profile, as we know, is, is more of a social media channel. It's more of a web page than it is a directory listing, uh, but it is a directory listing. So if you are actively engaged in your Google business profile, if you are actively uh, procuring uh, content and curating content, then you are satisfying Google's desire for consistent content uploads. Another thing that satisfies Google's appetite for consistent uh, content uploads are user-generated reviews. So if you're engaged in an active review generation campaign, if you're being aware or cognizant of the fact that your patient, client, or customer experience matters, because it does, and if you're creating conversations from your front desk staff or all your staff or anybody in the building and letting them know that their feedback and their reviews uh, and their experience is really important to the well-being of the business that you're running or the customers that you're serving, you're going to get that feedback. And when you're intentional in getting that feedback, that feedback can come by way of user-generated content. Their comments on the wait time, the, the cleanliness of the bathrooms, the, the experience at the front desks, uh, how they were treated on the way out the door. Uh, recency and latency is the concept whereby people remember the first thing that happens in an experience and the last thing that happens in an experience. And often what happens in the middle can be clouded, a little bit foggy, and a little less memorable. So if you're a practitioner or a front desk staff person, you know that the impression that you make first and foremost and the last impression you make can be more important than anything that happens in between there. So think about that. What if someone uh, waited 30 minutes in, in, a, in, a, uh, in, a, in an examination room before the doctor was able to see them, but they had a beautiful first impression. They had a beautiful final impression. The final impression uh, went something like this. A conversation uh, was had where the front desk staff said, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Prospect or patient, uh, how was your experience today? Oh, oh I'm sorry for that for that extra 15 minute wait. Listen, uh, we would love to get some feedback from you on your experience today. Getting that feedback is very important because it helps us to better serve you. Whether it was positive or negative, please let us know what we can do to make your experience best in class, uh, better than most, and, and quite memorable and remarkable. That conversation 
will will prompt them to to perhaps go to your Google business profile and leave you um, some positive feedback or perhaps some some negative feedback. Whether it's positive or negative, as long as you're getting consistent feedback daily, a couple times a week, at the very least weekly, you're never going to worry about volume of reviews. You're never going to worry about uh, ratings because the the positive experience will far outweigh the negative experiences. And because you're getting consistent feedback on that Google business profile, Google is going to recognize and reward you for that user generated content that comes fairly regularly. And again, you'll be satiating that appetite that Google has for consistent content. So whether you're uploading photos, videos, or text to your Google business profile, or your customers, clients, or patients are uploading content, videos, photos, text to your profile. Both are content, both satisfy Google's desire for, for fresh content that keeps you high up in the rankings, that keeps you high up in the map pack, that keeps you relevant. And when people pick up their smartphone and they want to know, uh, a pediatrician near them or an esthetician near them or a hairstylist near them or a obstetrician near them, whatever, that you're going to come up first. And the reason you come up first is because of that healthy, steady flow of user or proprietor generated content. It's easier to get user generated content on Google business profile. You can, it can come more readily uh, and it'll keep you in the map pack. So today's conversation about user generated content is an important one. It is one that a lot of people don't understand. The, I'm not going to lie to you. It is difficult if you're trying to get the user generated content on a web platform other than Google business profile, other than LinkedIn or Yelp or, or Facebook or, or Instagram or Twitter. Those are the places that are designed for user generated content. Uh, it's difficult to get that anywhere else. So let's take advantage of the resources that we have out of this disposal. And if you'd like to have a conversation, if you'd like to learn more about user generated content, click the speak with a specialist link. I would love nothing more than to have that conversation. We can talk about it and see if we can implement or supplement uh, the strategies that you're uh, having uh, to, to boost your business now and make sure that your growth goals for 2023 and beyond uh, come true and that user generated content is part of that plan. So I'd love to have that conversation. Once again, getting closer to Christmas, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, and have a great day.